I have been reunited with my father, but I do not yet know if this bodes well or ill. Our goals are aligned, at least so far as independence is concerned. But he continues to defend Charles Lee, the man who murdered my mother and burned my village. Still, he makes a point about Washington and those who back him. I hear much talk of freedom and equality, but it seems one must be a landed white man to benefit. What if someone like me, or Suri? What role for us in this new world? Is my father right then? There is so much I must consider and so little time in which to do it. Welcome back. And how was Martinique? Achilles, I... I owe you an apology. It was wrong of me to say the things I did. Your words were harsh, Connor. But there was also truth there. I failed the order, allowed the Templars to take control. But now their hold is weakened, which makes me believe there's a chance for peace. Imagine what might be accomplished if we were to unite. Why the change of heart? Where is this coming from? You've met your father. Haven't you? I do not claim to trust the man or even like him. But I would be remiss to ignore this opportunity. Haytham may listen, but will he understand? And even if he does, will he agree? Even he must admit that we can achieve more together than we do alone. I assume you're off to find him. Yes. I ride for New York to see what might be done. To New York. Away. Right, this actually takes me to New York. The Jessup book. Cool. Didn't mean to get in there. I was gonna say, I swear to God, if you're in that goddamn wall. We need to know what the loyalists are planning, if we're to put an end to this. I have tried, but the soldiers themselves are told nothing now, only to await orders from above. Keep digging. Come find me when you have something worth sharing. So close to victory. A few more well placed attacks, and we'll be able to put an end to the civil war and be rid of the crown. What do you intend? Well, nothing at the moment, since we're completely in the dark. I thought the Templars had eyes and ears everywhere. Oh, we did. Until you started cutting them off. Your contact hmm? said orders from above. It tells us exactly what we need to do track down the Loyalist commanders. No, that'll uh, get them all killed, right? <laughs> Just say. Hey, the, why are you running so fast? Do you find? <laughs> did you find that necessary, Connor? <laughs> bad. It wasn't. I didn't care for that much. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Hit and get back here, you little bitch. Hit them, please. Connor, that kills the man. Ah, 
I don't think he's very happy with you. Hey, this is where we're, this is where we're going, right? Yep. Cool. <laughs> I also find this wholly unnecessary. Like, there's a little better way. Have you considered the proposal? I'm unconvinced. To reinforce them would leave New York exposed. It's hard enough maintaining order with our current numbers. Cut in half. Yet if we do not join with them, they risk defeat. And then what? Well, they should have come by sea. Well, they're talking in circles. We're nothing watching as we are. Then what do you propose we do? March in there and demand answers? Perhaps. Well, yes. Ah! Ambush! Connor? Little help here? <laughs> Fucking fine. Keep the commanders alive, Connor. We can interrogate them. Man, you've got to stop getting me into this shit. Being my father does not make any excuse. Shit. that for me. We'll bring them back to my course at Fort George and see what secrets they might share. <sighs> really? Apparently well, so. You best get after him then. You go. I will watch the prisoners. No, you do it. Why me? Because I said so. Now go. He died and put you in charge. Potentially broke down. Yeah, yeah, because that's gonna work. Oh wow, that actually did work. <laughs> like fuck, are they gonna do that? Move. Go to hell. I said move. Wait, wait. I'll tell you anything you want. Anything. Only don't make we me We just have some there. questions for you. Cross that threshold, and I'm a dead man. There you are, Connor. You're dead anyway. I was worried you might have gotten lost. Come on, then. <laughs> Keep moving. Bitch. Try to run, and it will knock you back down. Don't think I won't. The fuck did I just say? <laughs> I'm putting a fucking gun to you. Move. Or I will shoot you. It is that simple. I swear to god. I'll fire this thing into the back of your head. Don't even think about it. <laughs> you missed. I won't miss with this thing though if you make me fire. Damn it, I was gonna put him again. What are the British planning? to march from Philadelphia. That city's finished. 
New York's the key. They'll double our numbers, push back the rebels. When do they begin? Two days from now. June 18th. I must warn Washington. You see? That wasn't so very difficult now, was it? And he kills them. I've told you everything. Now let me go. Of course. God damn it, Hayden. The other two said the same. It must be true. You killed him. You killed all of them. Why? They'd have warned the loyalists. You could have held them until the fight was done. What? And with precious time and money on their care? What would be the point? They'd given up everything they knew. I'll meet you at Valley Forge. The savagery is getting a bit much, Hayden. Get a little bit hard to swallow. <laughs> Fuck, wrong thing. I was gonna say, well, if we're in the frontier, right? Of course it is. Why do people make me run so far? Or teleport so far. <laughs> yeah, you will if you get in my fucking way. Can't, can't please. That's, that's not what I wanted. Fool. Mm, this works. Oh, and it's, it's not fucking winter anymore. The White Walkers are not coming. Good. So, nobody got time for that. I wonder how far we are from it. Probably quite far. That's where I needed to go. So it must be closer than I thought it was. Which is always nice. Also, it annoys me on this one. You get all the viewpoints, it still doesn't actually cover all the area. It's fucking annoying. Fun. Fun is my reason. Where the fuck are you? Is it Hayden I'm looking for, or is it Washington? No, it's Hayden. We should be sharing what we know with Lee, not Washington. You seem to think I favor him, but my enemy is a notion, not a nation. It is wrong to compel obedience, whether to the British Crown or the Templar Cross. And I hope in time the Loyalists will see this too, for they are also victims. You oppose tyranny, injustice. These are just symptoms. Their true cause is human weakness. Why do you think I keep on trying to show you the error of your way? You have said much, yes. But you have shown me nothing. Mm -hmm. Then we'll have to remedy that, then, won't we? Sir. Hello, Connor. What brings you here? The British have recalled their men in Philadelphia. They march for New York. Very well. I'll move our forces to Monmouth. If we can rout them, we'll have finally turned the tide. And what's this? Private correspondence. Oh, of course it is. Would you like to know what it says, Connor? Yeah, sure. It seems your good friend here has just ordered an attack on your village. What? Although attack might be putting it mildly. Well, tell him, Commander. We've been receiving reports of Allied natives working with the British. I've asked my men to put a stop to it. 
by burning their villages and salting the land by calling for their extermination according to this letter. Not the first time either. Tell them what you did 14 years ago. That was another time. The Seven Years' War. And so now you see what I wonder who was around then. Duress. He makes excuses, displaces blame, does a great many things, in fact, except take responsibility. No! Who did what and why must wait. My people come first. Then let's be off. No. You and I are finished. Son, do you think me so soft? That by calling me son, I might change my mind. After like 20 years. How long do you sit on this information, or am I to believe you discovered it now? My mother's blood may stain another's hands, but Charles Lee is no less a monster, and all he does, he does by your command. A warning to you both. Choose to follow me, or oppose me, and I will kill you. Don't think I won't. Because I will. That killed a lot of people. I have killed so many people. And I'll probably kill so many more. Maybe including the power of them. <laughs> You're fucking dead. Of course, Connor, please. Why are you doing this shit? Not even certain who's the boss is who's. There's how many of these guys are there? I'm not after you. Bitch ass back here. Really, horse. <sighs> Jesus. I should make sure the village is safe. <laughs> Come on. Doesn't look safe to me. Providing that is the village. There's a bit more tense music would probably help. Everybody dead? Everybody dead? Radun Hagedun. That would be me. Zah, Shewe, next to you, Ohno Jera. What can you do? You got to go, oh, yeah, Lungwe, I is a nest again. 
It's fucking with your head, isn't it, Connor? Not lethal. Uh, I mean, I suppose they are my people. Let's do this. Fox, please, you're giving away my position. He didn't say anything. Assuming I'm not really supposed to be detected either, which I think I'm actually doing surprisingly well. Because they're all fucking blind to death, apparently. <laughs> Jesus! ちょっとちょっとだけ。ちょっとだけ。ちょっとだけ。ちょっとだけ。ちょっとだけ。ちょっとだけ。ちょっとだけ。ちょっとだけ。ちょっとだけ。ちょっとだけ。ちょっとだ
cheese it. Magical <laughs> steel little fingers teleporter. None for you. No, I'm not doing that either. There are so many places I've not been to in the frontier. Why are you suddenly if the French? Enemy is allowed to push through, we will Connor, my friend. You have arrived just in time to bear witness to our glorious victory. Where is Charles Lee? That batar. He shows up in the middle of our preparations and just takes charge. Screams at everyone to advance and then rise away. I am left to pick up the pieces. Send word that we are falling back! Everyone, to me! Now! Now! I will hold the area while you bring them to safety. Because I'm a one-man fucking army. I grant you my finest soldiers to serve as your personal guard. There is nothing they will not do to ensure you are victorious. Bonne chance, mon ami. seconds. Way too many of them. I took it a good, good number though. Yes, I did do that. Can you just 
start to fuck up. I will take care of this. That would be a good fight. Should learn this by now. Not today, Satan. Go! I can deal with this! Fuck. Paco. Jesus. Here we go, people. No. <laughs> well done, my friend. You have saved many lives today. Select. Connor? Charles Lee has betrayed you. He forced retreat in the midst of battle, hoping the loss would take the lives of your men and see you relieved of your command. What? I'm sure he will come and spin a tale saying that he was outnumbered or I was somehow to blame. All lies. I will say it one last time. That man is your enemy and he will not stop until you are dead or dishonored. Connor's tale rings true. Lee was acting most odd upon the battlefield. I will investigate these allegations at once. The time for that is long past. This must be done properly, else we're no better than those we oppose. Never mind the political ramifications of such an act. Should you choose to spare Lee's life, then I will take it myself. Enjoy your victory, Commander. It will be the last I deliver you. Connor is not a happy man. Something's happened, Desmond. Mm -hmm. Abstergo has your dad. Where? Well, fuck. It's <laughs> same place they were holding you. What are you two waiting for? Let's go. There's more. Hello again, Mr. Miles. I hope this message finds you well, or as well as it can, all things considered. It appears we now each have something the other desires. I propose a trade. Bring me the apple, and I'll return your father to you no worse for the wear. Should you refuse, he will still be returned, albeit much worse for the wear. I assume you'd like to avoid an unpleasant outcome. <laughs> I always knew it would come to this, just not so soon. I wonder if Abstergo even knows what's about to happen. And has this been a part of their plan all along? Yes, Maybe they probably. want the world to end, to see it all burned away. Then they'd have their new world, ripe for the reshaping. We talked about looking for another power source, leaving him there. It's probably what he'd want, for us to finish the mission. But it ain't gonna be what he's gonna but get. It's hard enough taking a life, but letting one be taken? Knowing there was something I could do about it? Not a chance. 
Might be I'm risking my life. Risking all our lives to save an asshole. But what else am I supposed to do? That asshole is my dad. So I suppose, I suppose it's just that I have to. They're probably holding your father on the upper level, same place they kept. Put in backgrounds, but why is everything white? An elevator bank down the hall. Try not to let them see you. They well, they already look fucking suspicious. Up. There's no way they don't. This, this was a bad idea. A little bit. Welcome back, Desmond. I'm sure you hated it here the first time. You hate it more than what the fuck do you think you're looking at? <laughs> I'm sure you hate it more this time. Well, you might like it more because you get to kill everyone. Hand over your weapons and come with me, sir. I can yeah, show myself no. in, but thanks for the offer. I'd rather this not turn ugly, Mr. Miles. Then let me through. Subdue the subject, please. Good luck. Seriously, good luck. Right. Cinematic murder. I'm gonna be using this. <laughs> I love when nobody else came at me, they were just like, no, we're good. Well, so you've learned absolutely nothing since you left us. Walking into an elevator in the middle of a hostile environment. Really? Where's my father? <laughs> You'll see him soon enough. Now be a good boy and wait for security to fetch you. I mean, you want to send more men to your death? I don't mind killing more. Better men than you have tried to kill me. They failed too. Need eyes on him. He can't be far. Where the hell is he? I'm right below you. Goodbye. The fuck? Not stay safe. I'm just doing. That's okay. I do. Do you? Because I don't. Security! Exceptionally dead security. I'm not after you. Yet. <laughs> fucking clothesline me. Fine. Go ahead. You do that. Me first. <laughs> just got a man. It's fine. The fuck? <laughs> Who do you think you is? Jesus. Your men need better training. Give me the apple. Oh. Actual Let's worthy opponent for once. You got nowhere to go, and I've got a gun. I just killed a shit ton of people with guns. Speaking of which, it's the 21st century, and you're still running around with only a tiny knife for protection? <laughs> it's stupid. All right, Desmond. Game's over. Not now. Not now. 
the fuck? That's a good question. He was speaking Russian, so that's one thing. What the hell is going on down there? Please, I'm trying to kill a man. You could you just okay. Cross, get back in. Go crazy. It's absolutely fucking and lost it. I invited you here in the spirit of cooperation, but you responded to my hospitality with only violence. <laughs> I had hoped we might preserve you and further study your memories. You no, know, it's not going to happen. Wrong guy. Right guy. And then bring me the apple. Where's Vinny? Is that it? No. Oh, you killed Cross. Well done. Just. He's just dead. Let me go. Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Dad? Not so fast, Mr. Miles. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm the one calling the shots. Now give me the apple. No. You want it? Fine. Wait! No! Problem solved. You 
never should have come here. You put everything on the line for what? So you could rescue your father? Yep, and now Vic's dead. Yeah. As it's cross. Well done. Anything? Time's enough. <laughs> I have all of the power. Cool with this. Okay. I'd get the power source hooked up before heading back into the Animus. But it's your call. Mm, no, I'll do that later. Home stretch, Desmond. I can feel it. At least, I think I can do it later. <laughs>